Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Stefan, back at you with another video. We're gonna get into these trash Nike shoes. These are made out of 25 to 50% trash, and they put the label right on top of where you would open them up. I'm gonna have to get out this knife over here. Got my handy Supreme knife. We're gonna open this up for you guys right now. Make sure, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, share this content. Once I hit 3,000 subs, I am gonna be giving away a bunch of stickers. And then also, what do you guys think about this shirt? I just painted it fresh yesterday. Today I came home early from work and I was able to get started on this one. Uh, well, I'm getting paint on me. Okay, well, this one is uh, pretty dope. I really like um, the earth. I mean, come on, I got it tattooed across my arm all the way around it. The continent map may become my new thing that I'm just gonna dive into. I mean, actually, it already has become my new thing because, uh, yeah, this, this is gonna be real dope. I can't wait to wear it. We'll check out that. I'll put some posts up on my uh, YouTube channel so you guys can check out that progress of my art that I'm creating. And whoa, let's go ahead. I'm gonna try and yeah, I can just break that label. So these uh, trash shoes came in the box, like the shoe box. It's a really big box, really wide. And uh, I'm looking at these little plastic or TPU. Actually, yeah, it's totally rubber. This is all rubber here. This thing, I thought it was gonna be yellow, but it's totally not. It's totally green and orange and red and just a bunch of colors mixed together and then with this sole they uh, just shot a whole bunch of basically pieces or remnants of Nike shoe trash and they just shot those right into that sole and mixed it in with that foam and then they did the same thing uh, with speckling with, with the rubber pads that they have on this sneaker up at the top at the toe and then down at the heel and then this white piece under here you see kind of caged in with these ridges is the zoom unit. So that's gonna add a bunch of comfort. I was so excited to get the number threes of these space hippies because they were just seemed like they had the best lockdown. I went after the one and the three. I just skipped all the rest of them because I didn't think I could wear them for work. And I wanna be able to just tear these up a whole bunch and uh, see how well they work. I had given you guys um, a poll of whether or not I should wear these and rock them or I should trade up for a better colorway. A bunch of you guys said I should trade up, but <laughs> I like to buck the trends. I actually do wanna wear these for work because I don't think that I'm gonna be able to get a better colorway anytime soon. These are already in hand and to try and find somebody to trade them around and then start wear testing them. I mean, the hype will kind of be gone and I don't know. And I'm that kind of person that moves on to the next thing, the, the next design that I think of, you know, I move away from the old designs. I mean, not really, cause I do like the fire, this fire shirt that I made. Um, that is a really cool graphic there. So I could still make a bunch of those for anybody who wants me to, but I am like really invested in these new earth shirts. They look, I mean, come on. But back to the sneaker, you do have Nike embroidered all across this black strip. It's really thick, like a seatbelt material. Maybe that's what it is. They're repurposing it. It's on the back as well. You've got your Nike Air Meg heel little uh, <laughs> rubber piece right here. We want to go back to the future with that. And then, yeah, this lacing system, this thing is just all over the place. I don't really even know how to do it. Besides, I guess it says pull. Oh yeah, there you go. So how do you, how does it loosen then? I'm gonna try and figure this out. Oh, one other thing I didn't notice is they do have the windmill Nike logo thing there. That is the Nike Lab logo, I think. Get your pull tab, it says pull, right? <laughs> and then this thing says fast fit. They're just naming everything. Get your little Nike swoosh there, embroidered uh, lime Nike swoosh right there. And let's go ahead, I'm gonna throw these on really fast. This tongue area, this whole thing, is not very wide. So that is where you're gonna find the most trouble in trying to get your foot in, is trying to get it to stretch enough right up there. That's what I'm having trouble with right now. Okay, come on, let's go. Oh, oh yes, got it. Okay, one secret to getting these on quickly, just grab these two pull tabs and then, yeah, it'll probably just slide on your foot real nicely. I'm gonna try the other one and see if I can get it. Oh yeah, nice. Okay, cool, yeah, these are so, so dope. And they fit perfectly. I'm a size 10 and a half, so these run true to size. I would say they're almost, if anything, snug. 
They're not oversized at all. I'm gonna tighten these up. Okay, yeah, that's about as tight as they go. I guess they just kind of choose to tighten this, but you can really feel the lockdown with that stretch material onto your heel and onto your foot. This whole setup here, the wires and everything, that more is, I mean, I guess it probably does add some more lockdown in the forefront of your foot, but this ankle support is stellar on these. It is insane. So if you want to take them off, then you just pull on this back blue little tab thingy here and that loosens the system somehow. Don't even know how that works. And then your insole, this was kind of a cool factor. It's really glued down, but it is made up of another layer of this zoom, just a really thin compact layer of zoom so you can feel it more in the toe box area. Basically this whole upper is a nice stretchy material around the collar area and then towards the toe it starts to get really stiff. And I wonder if that's because of a backing. Yeah, they may have put some sort of a reinforced backing underneath this uh, material on top which I'm guessing is made of recycled materials based on all the different colors they have going on in there. Like I said, I do want to try these out for work. I do walk about 10 miles to 20 miles a day. I've been wearing one of four options for the really cool days. I've been wearing the Nike React Element 85. I think that's what these are called. I've really trashed these. There's basically no sole left, so I need some new shoes for work. I've been rocking these uh, Ultra Boost ST since before I even started working at the post office. And I've been wearing the soles out of these like none other, just crashing them in. And then if it's kind of a cooler day, then I'll wear these winter Ultra Boost ATRs. They still have a pretty good amount of sole or rubber traction left on them. And honestly, with how lightweight I am, like I'm really tall, I'm about six foot, a little over six foot. With me being lightweight, the boost does keep its life a lot longer, which is nice for me. And then the last pair that I wear, if I just wanna be lazy for the day, I have my Air Force One 270s. And these are really comfortable, except for around the collar. This thing can really dig in around my ankle. It, really is terrible. Everything else about the shoe is dope, it's cool, it's got leather and everything, so it's following the regulations of the post office. My other shoes are totally not following regulation. These ones are not following regulation. These are totally out there and crazy, but you know, you can get a doctor's note and say that you gotta be able to try in your shoes, you gotta have comfy shoes, can't be wearing shoes from 1985. Come on, that's so weird, but you know the regulations of the post office. So anyways, yes, Space Hippie, with our cool technology and everything, so exciting. Now, before I let you guys go, I wanna shoot some positive Activity at you. I've been reading this science book called Behave by Robert Sapolsky and he's got this really great quote that I thought might help all of you guys out there, maybe people interested in science and contemplating whether or not it's a good idea to get into science um, because some people will lose their faith or lose, lose their religion when they start diving in. But he has a great outlook right here in this quote. I love science and it pains me to think that so many are terrified of the subject or feel that choosing science means you cannot also choose compassion or the arts or be awed by nature. Science is not meant to cure us of mystery, but to reinvent and reinvigorate it. Oh, that's so good. So positive that we can love science and science really helps us decipher how we're made up on the molecular level. Oh, <laughs> my buddy just texted me. He just got a blood test for um, his uh, pregnant wife. He's having a boy. Congratulations, Kareem. Dude, this guy is awesome. We're gonna go out to dinner tomorrow night. He's a really cool dude. He also works with me at the post office. We're both out there delivering mail. I'll put that on silent. But anyways, uh, yeah, let's go out there. Let's be friendly to the people around us. Let's ask people out for dinner. Let's be loving to everybody around us. I mean, especially those people who seem like they're down and out or not necessarily just down and out. I mean, there's so many people out there that we can affect in a positive way. So many people who get negative stuff pushed on them all the time. Let's be that positive voice, that positive hope that can really evoke change in this generation and, and we can change things for the better. I mean, our parents, I mean, we can blame stuff on them. They blame stuff on us. They say we're terrible, but they raised us not so great. So we gotta figure this life out. We gotta figure out what the truth is, figure out what's really behind all of this Maj Paj of cloudiness and everything like that. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get to the heart of what's really true out there and stuff we can really base our life on. So uh, thank you all for following me. And uh, yeah, till the next one. Peace.
Thank you.